Zimbabweans voted in closely watched presidential and legislative elections after a campaign tainted by a crackdown on the opposition, fears of vote rigging and public anger at the economic crisis. President Emerson Mnangagwa, 80, who came to power after a coup that deposed late ruler Robert Mugabe in 2017 is seeking re-election. His main challenger is Nelson Chamisa, 45, who leads the Yellow Coloured Citizens Coalition for Change Party. Casting his ballot in his hometown of Kwekwe, central Zimbabwe, a confident Manangagwa told journalists, if I think I'm not going to take it, then I will be foolish. Everyone who contests should go into the race to win, he added, sporting his trademark multicolored scarf. The opposition is hoping to ride a wave of discontent over the southern African country's economic woes that include high inflation, unemployment and widespread poverty. In Harare's oldest suburb in Bray, voters queued early in the morning outside more than a dozen large green tents set up as polling stations on a dusty field facing rundown apartment blocks and empty wooden market stands. In a nation with a history of tainted elections, few believe he will emerge the outright winner. His party has complained about being unfairly targeted by authorities, its members have been arrested, dozens of its events blocked and little or no airtime has been allotted to it on national television. At least 6.6 .6 million people are registered to vote.